What's going on YouTube viewers? Hey, this is Phoenix and welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we're going to talk about how to modify the Zukov handguard without removing our handguard retainer clip. All right, if you're new to this channel and you like the content of what you're hearing, go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button. If you're kind of on the fence, welcome. All right. All right, so we're going to kind of just jump straight into it. Uh, this is something that I needed to, it needed to be talked about months ago, right? So how to modify the Zukov handguard instead of modifying your five six hundred dollar gun, right? All righty. So let's kind of just jump straight into this. I don't like to jump around or BS. All right. So here we go. You're going to have to take your gun apart, disassemble it. Okay. I've done half of it already. Slide this off. I'm going to show you something. If you see, that is a handguard retainer clip right there. I never took it off. The only thing I removed on here was the sling loop. That's it. Okay, see it? All right. So some of the things that you're going to need, you're going to need a Dremel, a drill, face mask, eyewear, and a file, and some calipers, right? Same thing you pretty much always need anyway, especially for the AK. So what you want to do is you want to measure uh, your handguard retainer clip, the width of it, because this is what you're going to mark and you're going to kind of just keep in lines with that. So what I end up having to do is what I like to do is I like to take this, put this on, uh, line up the holes, take a little, um, little paint, put it on the bottom of your handguard uh, retainer clip, put it on here and it makes a little mark at the bottom. And that gives me an idea where this handguard or where the hole needs to, where I need to remove the material from, right? So once I do that, I mark it like so. I'll take my drill and I will drill it here and here, okay? And then I will take my Dremel, put a cutting wheel on, and I will cut across. Very simple, cut across. Remove that material right there. Then I will take a file and file it until I remove enough material to where I can just slide this thing on here and clamp it down. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over cold. So that is it. Make sure you fasten this handguard uh, lever down before you do all this so you can know exactly where you're gonna, where it's gonna be at. And you're all done. This actually takes about, it takes less time to do this modification than to uh, remove the hair or retainer clip. Second thing, you know, a lot of people, especially newbies out there that are getting into the AK, you're probably, uh, you know, pricing different types of handguards out there. And this is for you, basically. This is for you and the people that's, you know, that, uh, that has used the AK for a long time. Um, and you're probably trying to judge between uh, $175 uh, handguard or the $225 handguard that you're probably are looking at. This only cost me $69 off of primary arms. And I find that this handguard is better. What's better? It's better than my Troy's Battle Rail, which is similar to a lot of ones that you'll see that are very expensive. Okay. This cost me $110. This cost me, like I said, $69. I would rather mod this than mod my gun. All right. Like I said, there's a lot of people out there. We're all in the same boat. We all have removed our handguard retainer clip and then wanting to replace it with a clamp on because we want different furniture or we're trying to lighten our gun up. Right. This is the best way that you can, you know, modify. You want to mod modify the accessories, not your gun. All right. So a quick review on uh, the Zukov. Now you can do this modification to a large one. This is the large one. I, this is how I knew I was able to do it because I've this I done this a few months ago, and um, once I figured out I could do it, I was like, "What in the hell? Why did why didn't Magpul ever say, hey, you know what? You, you don't have to cut it off.' But they kind of stuck with their their um, where is those rules at or those? I just had them a second ago. 
the instructions. The instructions are set on. I think step two it says you have to remove the handguard retainer clip. Magpul, if you're watching this, someone knows Magpul, send them this video. All right. And Magpul, if you want to, you can put me in your payroll. <laughs> I have a lot of great ideas. Anyway, um, but yeah, a lot of people are in the same boat when it comes to, you know, we've removed the handguard retainer clip and kind of regret it later on. Now you don't have to. All right. So um, why did I change from... Um, the Troy's Battle Rail to the Zukov. Let me give you a reason why. Several reasons. The Zukov, one, it clamps to the barrel, making um, the barrel a little bit stiffer, and it changes the harmonics, making your gun slightly more accurate, or it causes your groupings to be a little tighter. That's basically what I mean by accuracy. Um, they're consistently the same. Okay, 25 to 50 yards, I'm shooting literally at 25 yards. I'm shooting a grouping about the size of my thumb. I wish I had, but I threw it away. The size of my thumb. And we're talking about between a four or five shot groupings. At 50 yards, it's just as tight as I can't complain, right? Secondly, what I like about Zukov is that it covers up a lot of the hot spots on your gun. Okay, so if this thing heats up like around a gas tube. This kind of covers it, so you're not burning yourself. You have to wear a glove, right? So that's kind of the reason why I like it. All right. Um, like I said, you have the option between the large version or the short version, or just whatever fits your style of, of, of training and shooting. Um, secondly, why I chose it is because of how Choi, they're a good company. They make a good product but it doesn't fit my needs. What I mean by that is this. When you look at the way how this Troy um, mates up with your gun and when you install it, the way they fasten theirs, it, it uses, it pushes against the handguard retainer clip, which is this piece right here. If you don't evenly distribute the screw pressure, you're going to have your handguard retainer clip canted, which causes an issue in itself. Um, I noticed... Whenever I would put this thing on, I had to get it just right, just so my can could fit in here without rubbing the walls, inner walls of this handguard. That was one issue. Second issue is that if I grip it and I could actually twist it a little bit after it warms up, and the screws will slightly back out just a little bit. So that was another issue that I dealt with the handguard, with the Choice Battle Rail. I like the handguard. I like the way it made my gun look. It was a... a, a it was pleasing to the eye. I can't even get the word. I got a stuffed up nose. Um, but it was, and it fit all my needs. So that is the reason why I went with the Zuko. All right. Um, so if you like this video, you like the content of what you're hearing, and it helps you out. Like I said, this is for the people that are now just getting into it. All right, second thing I want to talk about is I'm starting my own business in modifying and making AKs. So, I know everyone was asking me about the Mac. Well, they're asking me about my different projects that I've done. Like, um, someone asked me about what I think about the KNS, and I said I'm working on a project for that. Um, there's a lot of other things that, I, that I'm not speaking of that I have created. For the reason that I don't want someone to take it and run with it, right? So there's a lot of things that I have done. Secondly, um, this thing right here. I have thought up a different way of creating this that it doesn't reciprocate. Not reciprocating, but it does the exact same thing. So I am working on buying a mill, a lathe, and a few other things I'm going to get. If you want to donate to the channel, feel free. If not, that is okay. Um, for my people that have been a part of this channel for the last three, four years that it's been up, I appreciate um, your help. I appreciate your input. <coughs> I am thankful for you um, because a lot of stuff that you, you have gave me a lot of good insight on if I'm headed in the right direction, right? So I want to do something for my subscribers. 
when I get my business up and get it running in the next uh, few months or a yeah, few months or so, I want to be able to offer a service or offer a product. I'm still kind of working things out, but uh, maybe y'all can give me some ideas. Um, and we're going to go from there. Like I said, thank you for, you know, if you're a subscriber and um, I read all your comments and y'all stay blessed out there. Y'all be safe and I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces.